I teach now or I did teach now because there are kids out there who need us. And so I think, you know, for a lot of the teachers, in spite of how difficult the situation has become, they're very dedicated. They're committed to the kids, to the ideal of public education as it should be, uh, to, um, to helping kids become empowered, uh, to helping kids uh, recognize their strengths and their talents, their identities, you know, and to feel good about them. Um, so we spoke only Spanish at home, and so that has been a really crucial part of my identity, I guess. Uh, no English until my sister Lydia went to school, and then she had to learn it uh, de golpe, really quickly. And it was when I was about 10, I think, or, or 8, that a cousin of ours came from uh, Puerto Rico to live with one of his older sisters, and he was the first I believe, in the entire family uh, who went to college. And maybe that's what influenced me. Just recently, a young woman came over to me after I had given a talk and she said, I've just decided to become a teacher because mm -hmm. of listening to you today. That is so rewarding. And, and it means so much to me that somebody like that who was thinking very, very, very critically about this knows that it's so hard, but she wants to go in there and make a difference. The kinds of reforms I think we need is, of course, getting away from this obsession with high-stakes testing, which uh, doesn't help most kids, you know, it, it doesn't help most kids. It doesn't help them to think more critically or more clearly. It doesn't help them to be more creative. And so I think that, um, you know, changing that approach. I'm not saying that I'm against all testing. I think some testing, of course, is necessary. An assessment is necessary. But we have lost sight of uh, the goal. You know, we really have. We need to prepare teachers to teach the kids who are currently in our classrooms and not the ones that were there 50 or 100 years ago. It's a completely different country now. And so that means that teachers need to learn about their students and not some generic students because there's no such thing.